Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Tuesday, you guys. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right mind, that you had a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that he so greatly deserves. Amen. Amen. So I just want to continue talking about um, what we started talking about on yesterday, and it was the prayer presence of the Lord in your life. And I was coming from the book of Exodus, the 33rd chapter. I hope you had the opportunity to read that chapter. It's just so rich in God's word and just such an on time word, um, especially for this season that we're in. And, um, Moses is is talking to the Lord here and he's asking the Lord, he's saying to the Lord, how do I know that you're with me? Or how do, how does the people of God, how do we know that you're with us? And how do we know that we're special to you and that, you know, you're going to be with us as we go on our journey. And I really, I like the way uh, the Bible shows how God is talking to Mo, how, how Moses is speaking with the Lord. A lot of times people tell you that you can't go to God a certain way and you can't ask why and you can't do this. But the truth of the matter, is that we have a relationship with the father. He is our heavenly father and we can go to him in time of trouble and speak with him. We can speak to him just like I'm speaking to you right now. We don't have to come with fancy words and all these phrases. We just go to him and we say, God, what is going on? And that's kind of what Moses was doing. Moses said to God, listen, you, you know, you had me to bring uh, these people out of Egypt. You know, you told me to go and get them. You told me to bring them here. Now, how do I know that you're with me? How do I know that, you know, you're going to do what you said that you were going to do? How do I know that I found favor in your sight? And how will other people know that I'm special to you? Isn't that something, you know, as I was reading this, I thought about myself and I thought about others and how so many times, you know, we do what God has asked us to do. God might ask us to make a move. And even though we're unsure of it, we do it. But, you know, a lot of times we get frustrated because we want to know, well, now, God, I've done this. Now, how do I know that you're going to do what you said you're going to do? But one thing about Moses, Moses wasn't asking God how he was going to do it. He didn't say, God, well, you didn't tell me how you're going to do this and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. He says, how do I know that you're with me? How do I know that I found favor in your sight? And, you know, that's how I feel about things. I don't have to know from God how he's going to do something. But if I know that God is with me, then I'm okay. I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I know that God is not a man that he should lie. So I know that every word that comes out of his mouth will not return to him void. And I also know that I am a word for God. And I know that everything that he said over my life will come to pass. So I don't need to know how God's going to do something. But I do need to know that God is with me. And once I I know that I can move forward. And this is what Moses was asking. Moses was saying, how do I know that I'm with, that you're with me? And God told Moses, and I think it's the 14th chapter. He says that because I found you found favor in my sight, because I love you, I know you by name and I will be with you. I will go with you and I will give you rest. And that's what I'm telling you this morning, that God is with you. Everywhere that you're going, in every situation that you're in, God is with you and he will give you rest. And when I looked at that word rest, that word meant to to be settled, okay, to remain, to stay, to, to take rest. God is giving you rest. When God is with you, you have rest. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what you're dealing with. You can still have rest. Doesn't mean that issues are not going to come. Doesn't mean that problems are not going to come, but you can rest in the fact that God is in knowing that God is with you. And when we know that God is with us, then we can rest in any situation. I don't care how chaotic it is. Other people may be running around trying to figure out how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to do that. But you are resting in your spirit because you know that God is with you. Amen. Listen, if you get the opportunity, please read the 33rd chapter of Exodus. It's a wonderful um, rendering of God's word. Okay. Listen, I love you guys. Have a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled day, a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled week. Tell somebody about Jesus and remember God is with you and he's giving you rest. Have a blessed day.